shade black in there and make sure it's in the required spot. So um, first you have to install the plugin and pay for it. I think there's a free trial version there. And also if you email the guy who runs it, Nate Johnson, and you're a student, you get a student discount. So check that out because that's what I did because I'm a student. All right, so um, the shortcut key to run Arbitic Lab Pro is Control M. So I'm gonna do that on my, um, my computer. And there's a bunch of options over here. Since we're doing black and white, there's really only one option for black and white, so I'm not gonna pay any attention to the others. I'm going to click Convert Negative. All right, so here is my negative. Um, there are a couple different like ways in which you can look at the color. Um, lab standard kind of imitates some of like the more punchy colors that you expect to get from the lab, but it, it's kind of more geared towards color. You can use it for whatever you want, but um, you can change it to gamma, um, a little bit deeper. Um, I have a tendency um, to use either uh, cinematic rich or linear gamma um, for black and white, but there's no wrong answer here. And you know, you do you do you boo. Um, so if I wanted to uh, make some further adjustments here, like I can change my exposure. And this is just like you know the way you would do with Lightroom normally. Um, so let me get a preview. I think that looks kind of good. And decrease the contrast if you want. Um, actually, I'm I'm kind of a contrasty person. Um, yeah, it's a personal preference, nothing big. I click um, sharpen lab, and down here I didn't put it in my screen recording, but there's an apply. Um, so I click apply. And so what it does is it's going to process it, and it's going to create a positive of this image. Um, that's a TIFF file. All right, let's find it. Ooh, ooh, I've done this photo a couple times, so TIFF. Um, where is it? Here it is. Okay, so here is the positive TIFF file, and then from here you just go into your develop module like normal, and you can you can play around with it. Um, you know, ideally, you don't have to do much in Lightroom once you've kind of done that negative lab pro conversion because all of that's working on the actual raw image or the raw image file. The nef in this case, I shoot my cons as a net file, um, but if you're Canon, CR2, or you know, whatever it is. Um, and at this point, I'm actually making adjustments on on the image, so it's a little little less precise. Um, however, you know, I, it's still very conventional to do to make adjustments here. Um, some adjustments that I tend to make are, you know, it's not super straight, so maybe I'll change that. Um, and honestly, this looks pretty good. I had a little bit of the negative show through um, in that crop, so I'm gonna crop that out. And since it's black and white, well, since I'm DSLR scanning, you know, sometimes I get some, um, some, what do you call it, dust or whatever in the image. I just kind of take a look at it ahead of time before exporting. Sometimes I catch it too late, whatever, I'll fix it later. But I will say this new, um, in the new Lightroom, this uh, content aware erase tool is super clutch for getting rid of lint or dust. Um, it's better than any of the other ones. Anyway, and then you can just export it the way you would normally export it, you know? So that's all you got to do when you're done.